My name is Kevin Kovac. I'm with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. We're assisting the Frederick Police Department with this case involving uh, Chris Watts. Sir, if you just introduce yourself. Uh, Dwayne Kessinger. I'm N Nicole's father. And Nicole, can you just introduce yourself for the recording? Nicole Kessinger. You guys' relationship is very new and young. Yeah. Some, we may, I might ask you a question and you're going, why the heck would you ask me that? Probably because I have information that I'm not willing to share with you, and I'll tell you that right now. Don't, don't take offense to it. Again, it's just part of what we need to know. Um, Understood. So just you went to his house on two occasions. Yes. Was, was that recent? No, that was like pretty early into it, and I did not like it and did not want to go back. Do you recall where the house was? Yeah, it's like right off the highway in Frederick. Okay. And you know the streets? I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out again if I like really had to. Like off the top of my head, no. Do you know the street name? No. Okay. I would have to like drive around in there to get there. Okay. Um, did it look like anybody else lived at that house at that oh, time? Oh, definitely. Okay. I mean, the so whole thing. that out? I mean, he told me that he was living in the basement, um, and he said, we're separated, but we're not divorced, and we're going to get ready to sell the house. And that was the impression that I was under. And I was under the impression that they were taking everything pretty slow with this, with, like, getting ready to sell the house. I mean, those are big things. So that's what I was informed. And, I mean, if you think about it, this whole thing happened in a six-week stretch. Like, it's not really that much of a time frame. I hung out in their, like, front living room. I just sat on the floor, and it was on the 4th of July. It was the morning of the 4th. And I was helping him uh, to set up my fitness pal app and like track his food and his calories and stuff so that he invited me up to the house and i was already kind of hesitant to do it because i was like there are other people that live here and i just felt like it was an invasion of space so we ate and then i left and then there was another day about i really want to help you guys i do Absolutely. i feel like I'm, I'm this whole thing is just going to be crazy regardless of whether i give you my phone or not uh, just a thing on the courtesy for the phone for, what was that guy's name, Don? This gentleman? Oh. Third P. I just met him today. <laughs> oh, do you want to do the I phone? I forgot again? about that. For TPD. I it's not for them. They're doing it for us. Yes. We just didn't, we don't have the equipment with us to do it, and I asked them to do it for us. They're not involved in this investigation. He would just be a uh, computer person. He would not be looking at any of this stuff. That uh, would fall to myself. So keep that in mind. He's not involved in this investigation. Thornton PD has nothing to do with this other than letting us use their facility and um, helping us with some electronic download. He's not going to look at your phone right now. He's going to put it on a disc, and they're going to give it to me. And, um, it validates things that we know. I'm not going to come out and tell you that I would... If you tell me something today, we'll validate it with your text messages, whether it's the ones yeah, we have yeah, now yeah. Will, or the ones you're going to give us. I'll Certainly. Give it to him if you want to go get him, I, was... I want you to read this, is what I want you to do before you decide that, okay? Um, so the second time I went to that house, I'm not sure what day it was, but it was the weekend of the 14th. Um, of August? July. July. I don't know if it was the 14th or the 15th. Um, one of those two days, but we had went out and we stopped there just real quick on the way back and we were there not very long, but that time I saw a picture of his wife and one of his kids and I remember thinking to myself like, wow, she's so beautiful and I like took a step back and I was just like, this man has a gorgeous house, he has beautiful babies, he has a beautiful wife, he has an awesome job, like why would he want to leave this? And I remember talking to him about it, and that was the first time that I tried to actually say, what do you think about not separating from your life? The way I would have preferred to do this is to have waited until that contractual agreement was also done, and he was, was just like, why? Fix this. Find a way to fix this. Make it work. I didn't think it didn't look right. I mean, I, I think he was legitimately sleeping in the basement, and I don't, I didn't think that these two were, I mean, I think it was like, hey, we're both stuck in this house for now. we got to sell this. In the meantime, you live here. I live here. We sleep in different rooms. Take care of the kids. That's just like kind of how I took that. And um, no, I didn't think it didn't look right. I just thought 
it just seemed like he had so much going on and it was just beautiful that I was like, why don't you just try this out, you know, and see if you can fix it. And he'd always be like, well, what about us? What about us? I'm like, don't worry about us. Like, that is more important. Like, try to see if you can, like, salvage whatever it is that you have going on. And then um, he told me that, uh, oh, he went to, um, he went to North Carolina. And he was like, I'm going to talk to her when I'm in North Carolina and see if I can get her to do this. To like try to like rekindle. Okay, so try to uh, salvage his relationship as you've been asking him. Yes, and and then if he when decided. Did he go to North Carolina. Um, I think it was like the last week of July, somewhere around there. Okay. So I mean, this was like a couple weeks that I was just kind of like trying to push him. Let's let's pause at North Carolina, and we'll come back to that real quick. I want you to read this. If you don't understand what it means then ask me the question. But basically what it says is you have the right not to let me look at you. And we can, we'll write that specifically down here. Understand that... I don't if, want anybody to get some of those tags. Like, they have nothing to do with this case, and they're just like... Between you and Chris? Yes. They're just... They're just... So just tell me what you're... They're just kind of raunchy. I'm asking to look at your phone for the purposes we previously discussed, for the text messages and your phone log. And unfortunately, the photos that are attached there in too. Um, that information is only rel relative to this investigation. I'm not looking at anything else except for the conversations between you and Chris Watts and the phone um, data between you and Chris Watts for phone calls for times and dates for those phone calls. Um, and then the content of the text messages that, that are there. Okay? Um, again, you don't have to give it to me. You can tell me I don't want you to have it. Go get a warrant. Um, I'm not even going to tell you if I go get a warrant, try to get a warrant right now. I'm just asking for you to consent. Just she hadn't been feeling good, not because any, just... Like, I got sick prior to Jim. this whole, whole thing happening, and then... Yeah, I... I'm with you. We definitely need to accelerate the case because... The more law, the more it takes, the less sure that they are of situations. But on the other end, I think if we, if you do just that only, you tell me what you're willing to provide is that, me, and we'll is that write good it. enough? So all of his photos were sent. There was no apps or anything else you no, used that you no, guys no, no, were no, sending. No, 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 no. Uh, and on Tuesday, because of what you found, specifically what you said was, and I don't let me put words in your mouth, but you you found out that his. Um, wife was pregnant and I yes and you did not know that prior and you found that out via the newspaper articles and that caused you concern um, well I just realized that he was lying to me and I was like well if you can lie to me about this what else are you lying to me about it made me realize that maybe his wife was in danger what did that cause you to do with your phone though oh what when I deleted those but you just lied to me and I don't want to see this come over my phone anymore. So I removed it. So you re just, you already said, but you removed text messages? I deleted all of his stuff because he lied. I mean, that's what it was. It was, it was the hurt that made me delete it. And then it was the lie that made me start questioning everything else he'd been telling me for the last few days. And that's when you decided to come forward? Yes. Okay. So just for context, yes. when people delete stuff off phones... Usually we go, hold no, on no, a second. No, 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 no. It and, wasn't and malicious, malicious at all. It yeah, wasn't no, malicious, malicious at all. That was like me kicking him out of my life. Okay. Yeah, when did I go over there? Tuesday morning? Wednesday morning. Wednesday. I called you Wednesday morning. That's when we started discussing. You guys need to get everything that I just... And then the second day I was talking to him, he was just like a hot mess, I could tell. And then with like the way he was talking to me and then that's kind of when I cut him off and I stopped talking to him and then so remember what you just said and we're going to get to that because that's probably a very important yeah conversation. so if you want to know so, days but, I would probably honestly just start it like Sunday and work your way forward and if you go like a, maybe like a week further back like there's times like I was trying to help him find an apartment like just for him not for me but for him and his kids um, to get set up, and, like, there's times where I'm like, well, where's your wife moving to, like, 
how close is she going to be to you? You should be within like 30 minutes of your kids. So they're close. And like, you want to be close to their school and close to your gym. And like, what's your price? What is the date? I don't even know what the date is. The date is the same. Okay. Let's go back to North Carolina. Okay. He went to North Carolina and he was trying to rehab his marriage with his wife. Uh, he said Should, he Do you know her name at this point? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? Uh, it's Shanann. All right. And do you know the children's name? Yes, it's Bella and Celeste. Okay. Cece. She went by, they called her Cece? Mm -hmm. All right. So he went to, were they in North Carolina? They were already there. If you want something. I don't know if my stomach can do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, they were already out there. He just flew out there to go meet up. Do you know why they were there? They're they're all from there. Okay, so they were... There they for... were visiting her family for the most part until he got there. And then they still were mostly visiting her family. Okay. And do you know how long they had been there? A while. Like weeks. All right. And he flew out to join his family there? Yep. Do you know specifically where he flew to? What, airport? No, no, no. What city? No, not off the top of my head. Okay. I'm sure if I thought real hard, maybe I could think about it, but, I mean, come up with it. No, I don't know. All right. So he goes there. How, do you, remember, you said it was like the last week of July? I think so. I think it was like one of the last days of July. I'm almost positive. I think it was a weekday. Okay. Um, yeah, I flew out there, and I thought I had, like, convinced him to, like, try to make peace with her and I was like if you guys work on this like I'm out because what's the point like I'm not trying to be with somebody that sounds silly given the whole relationship that we had in the first place but I really was under the impression that they were separating like sometimes like right after work if I was, like, still talking to him, I'd get kind of bummed out. And, I, you know, i tell him, I'm just like, oh, it's frustrating sometimes, like, having to, like, wait. But at the same time, I was never like, this is horrible or, you know, it was always like, I understood why. But then once his kids were asleep, he never, like, had any... It was like he could do what he wanted. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. he was in his basement and she's upstairs and they're not speaking. Or talking or whatever, you know. I mean, and it was just, it was like I said, it was at certain times, but that time, and originally it wasn't, but it was me that put that time frame on there because I thought he should hang out with his kids. Um, Those two times you were at his house, did you see any evidence of that, him living in the basement? Did he ever show you that area? I see, yeah, I went down there and saw his, his little workout equipment, and there's a bed down there also. I know what you're talking about. North Carolina. Let's, yeah, get, go back to North Carolina. So, North Carolina. Um, so, he still made very frequent communication with me when he was out there. And at one point, he told me that they sat down and they talked about it. And he told her that he wanted to either fix things or, like, to try to fix things. And if she didn't want to fix them, then they needed to, like, move forward with the separation and, like, actually file for a divorce. And he told me, um... We're putting the house up for sale as soon as we get one. I was like, okay. And so, I, and then um, he got back, and I started asking him, like, what are you going to do? Because the Colorado housing market is fire, and you guys are going to sell this house, like, real fast. And I'm like, you need to start looking for a new place to live. And I'm like, where do you want to live? And I was really trying to help him out. I'm like, do you want to get a house? Do you want three bedrooms so you have one and each of your girls have one? I'm like, do you want to, you know, like do an apartment? Like, what do you want? You know, where do you want to live? Because he's in Frederick, but that whole area over there is just like a bunch of small towns. And you can kind of just pick and choose. Everything's kind of, you know. And so um, he told me why well, I, I like Brighton. And I was like, okay. And then he told me he wanted a two-bedroom apartment. And he said he wanted one room for him. And the other room for his two girls. And I thought it was kind of cute. Like, I remember telling him, I was like, yeah, me and my sister had bunk at my dad's house. And I was like, when we were little girls, and we were, me and my sister were the same age apart as him and his, I mean, as his two daughters. You know, so I told him.